Vince Cardon, Pierre Gouas and Phantom, do you then get black? The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And the match is underway. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Now, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1913, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Oh, yes. First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. Oh. Ramos. And do they mean business on this occasion? A fine reading of the situation. Alvarez. Oh, he's through here. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly, he hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. So back underway following the equaliser. Silva. Plenty of options. But they dealt with the threat first. Now well Molina. De Paul. Fernandez. McAllister, on to Messi. This looks threatening. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick.
Just lacked a bit of conviction and straight into the wall. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Gonna struggle to get it away properly. And problem solved for now. Doesn't want to give it away here. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Well, nothing comes of it. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Pepe. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Di Maria. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Messi. Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. A great challenge free kick here well the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket but wasn't well it's a foul but not a bad one a warning is just about the right decision can they stop it going in well nothing untoward happened Messi Messi! Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And so the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. What can they do from here? Bruno Fernandes. Very quick thinking there. Can he find the right pass? And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Molina. And providing width. Lionel Messi. Well, closed down straight away. The first half here comes to an end. Well, the second half underway with Portugal behind. Can they turn this game on its head? On the offensive. Guerrero. Just made sure nothing came of that. So a personnel change then. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal.
So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Foul there, free kick awarded. Might really be able to trouble them here. But the danger averted for now. He has time to play it over. Ronaldo! Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. So making the substitution now. Di Maria. Paredes must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And there's the delivery. No nonsense clearance. Fernandes on the ball Joao Felix Portugal pushing forward with options available you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long just the challenge that was required Ronaldo Bruno Fernandes has it. On to Messi. Going well. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Messi. Well, nothing comes of it. Cristiano Ronaldo. They're really pressing their opponents. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And it has been deemed a second bookable offence. His day is done, Stuart. Well, if I was the coach, I'd have taken him off earlier. This always looked likely to happen. There to win it back. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, they still have designs on the win. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Ten minutes to go, then. Messi, can he put them in front? Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. 
And successfully cut out. Ronaldo. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And over comes the corner. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Bodies forward and the break looks on. An effective challenge. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Ronaldo Silva firing it towards goal. And how about that for a save? A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. Well, no end product. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.